All right, you ready? Let's do this. All right, boom. So this is the Mars Files, and um, shout out to Minds Wide Open um, Studios for uh, letting us use the studio today. Um, today I'm here with SK. What's good? Chilling, man. Chilling, man. Happy to have you here. I mean, we did this Happy before. Be here, we did this before, but like I was telling you earlier, like it wasn't it wasn't right. So I wanted to make sure we we did it again and did it correctly. Um, so let's just kind of start at the beginning, bro. Where are you from? Um, Miami. Miami. For the most part, yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. Uh, my bloodline is Bahamian, but I'm from Miami. And what was it? I mean, what was it like growing up there? Um, a little bit of everything. You know, I got a chance to be involved in so many different crowds and cultures that that's what helped, you know, shape my, my who I am today. It is really a one-on-one experience for me because um, of the people that I met, the the relationships that I've been in, and, um, you know what I'm saying, just everything, family, friends, uh, experiences, everything, you know. Wouldn't trade it for the war. I love my city. Word, word. Um, and um, what about your parents? Uh, like, what was how how did you have your parents in your life? Or uh, I actually didn't. Um, uh, for the most part, I was raised by my both of my grandmas. Mm-hmm. Um, my entire life, probably. Yeah, yeah, my entire life. Okay, and uh, I mean, like, how how do you think that affected you growing up? Like, what was that like? Um, did you know? I was loved, you know, I was loved by everybody, so it was, a, uh, it was, um, wasn't um was that bad, you know what I'm saying? Some yeah. people don't have parents, and the the world is so cold to them, which is very unfortunate, but, you know, I was fortunate enough to still have family members that, that cared about me. Yeah. Um. Uh. You know, my dad, he was, um, he was in jail since I was one years old, and um, my mom, you know, it was a situation that happened with her that I couldn't, like, she couldn't um have have me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Damn. Um. So you've met your parents? Yeah, yeah. I know them both. I love them both. Are they in your life now? Yeah, yeah. We have a, we have a, I love, I love my parents. Um. Even though they didn't, you know, raise me, I, I still, I understand their circumstances. And yeah. I don't, I don't blame them for it. You know, things happen all the time. And, and you're a, you're a father also, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm a parent myself. I mean, has that has that changed your outlook on on anything? Um, on life, it it actually, uh, I would say, during the beginning stages, before like my my child was born, my children was born, um, it turned me into like a, you know I was already doing some things out here, but it it made me go up a new level because I didn't want to be a, a I didn't want my child to not have you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, and it definitely gave me a new drive. It in, and it's still the new, um, I'm sorry. Uh, and it's still like a new, like you had drive, like a new reason. Like fire. I had like, I had a new reason to, to win, you know? Yeah. It's not absolutely. just, Oh man, I don't feel like, like, nah, I have to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, I mean, I guess, how did you get into music? Um, I always loved music. Always, 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 always since I can remember. Um, but I started out doing music when I was like 16. I seen my cousin, he was uh recording. He I had moved I had moved um down south to Homestead because um you know something happened at our house like up here in Miami. So I had to go down with my my aunt and my cousins for a little bit and I finished out high school there. And meanwhile, my cousin um he he was recording Guido music. He taught me everything I know about, you know, just recording, just basically writing bars and stuff like that. I was already a poet, so I already knew my way around, you know, with the with the pencil and um pretty artistic. So it was it was easy for me to to grow and learn it. So, you know, he had fruity loops on his laptop and he used to work. So when he used to go to work, I used to go in there record myself, send it to my friends back in Miami and then they'll be um you know, they'll be bumping it. You know. Shout out Florida City too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um does your cousin still make music? Yeah. Yeah, he's going crazy. He got a new show like every day, every other day. Guido's going nuts, bro. That's fire. That's fire. How long you been making music? Uh, it's, it's been a while. You want to say like just doing it or like taking it serious? Uh, serious, take it serious. I guess taking it serious. Okay, so taking it serious, I'll say like like five years. I'll say about around five years. And um, I mean, how did you how did you meet K Charles? Um, I knew K Charles since I was like 
nine years old. We knew each other since we was nine. Like we we had some of the same classes and we went to Horseman together. So um, we had some of the same classes, but we always used to even outside of class at spell out. You know what I'm saying? We in the morning we playing basketball or just throw back football. Like we still like hang out. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. in, I was in gifted classes. He was uh he was in advanced. So you know we were still associated with the same crowds. Wait, so you were in gifted classes growing up? Yeah, yeah. I've been in, I've been in gifted since I was uh you know since I can't remember like kindergarten. They had me in like in first grade classes. First grade they had me in second, and second they put me in the gifted. Yeah. Yeah. So like a bus used to come pick me up from my elementary school, take me to another one Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I could go to the gifted program. They IQ tested me and all that. I didn't, you know, I didn't have no idea what was going on, but I was. It was like, oh yeah, he's da da. I was like, okay, whatever. But yeah, that's how that happened. Damn. So you so you did good in school. Um. It was always pretty easy to me to the point where it got too easy and I got distracted, you know what I'm saying? Because I was always into girls just as much as I was in the school, you know, so that was one of the biggest things for me. Yeah, 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 no, so, 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 um, so you were distracted by women in high school, I guess, you could say? I've been distracted by women since I was born, bro, yeah. literally. Yeah. I can't even, like, I don't know, I should, certain information I shouldn't disclose, but... You know, I. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I, like, what's your type? I I got my. I got my dick sucked when I was six months. And this is a story I had to hear from, um, a close source. You know, later on in life, when I was yeah. old enough to to ready to even fathom what was going on, like, yeah, 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 that happened, and it just so so casually, and I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. <laughs> then you know it kind of made sense. I I have memories of me being in like what what is this before like elementary school is like preschool preschool yeah like in nap time and I'm like flirting and stuff you know girls flirting with me and I'm like yo I have these memories I'm like damn it made sense bro I was fucking struck with 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 lust since I was born you know what I'm yeah saying? that's crazy that's insane actually yeah. Nah, bro. No, no, no. Okay. That's crazy. It's way too early. Okay, for sure. I'll take one for you. It's way too early. It's so never like, too early for a shot. Who um who who in the industry do you like want to work with? Who in the industry I want to work with? It's all over the place. So I would say, uh, for one, the per one person I have to give him his flowers first before anybody else who has been one of the biggest inspirations to me is uh Drake. You know, forty. Um, you know, a lot of people from the OVO camp, um, let's say, uh, a lot of people from Atlanta, Cali, um, a few from New York. I want to work with Chief Keith. Um, I love Young Nudie, but at the same time, you know, all these rappers, I love singers just as much, you know? I know Adele has never did a record with anybody, so it's, it's like a... A fantasy of mine to get a song with Adele, but um, I want to work with her. People like Odessa, uh, you know, even even going over switching over to soft rock, you know what I'm saying? Plain white tees, people like that, you know what I'm saying? Do plain white tees still make music? I don't think so, but you know, their music fell in my heart. So yeah, you know what I'm yeah, yeah. Hey there, Delilah, that, yeah. that's a banger. Yeah. One, two, three, four, like all of that. You know I don't. Saying? I really only know Hey There, Delilah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I I was a part of that uh generation that um. Well, I am a part of the generation. Like, I grew up watching MTV jams, VH1 before school, you know? Yeah. And, you know, music videos, that's what got me so, like, into, like, all these different types of musics. Because I was growing I grew up in the hood all my life, you know what I'm saying? Born in Overtown, moved to, you know what I'm saying, all over the place. All, But it was always the hood. But what kept me in tune with other things was TV, um, the internet, you know what I'm saying? And meeting people that's outside of the hood, you know? So... That's that's why I have this ear. That's why I have this style that I do because I'm not just you know one dimensional. You know what I'm saying? Not that, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's just that's me. You know? Yeah. I mean, could you do the could you do the like the the super hood rap shit like the street rap shit? Could I did. you do it? I do it. I do it. 
Like sometimes when I'm in that mode and like, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll, I'll snap, you know? Like yeah. niggas got me fucked, I'm gonna snap. But yeah. for the most part, I'm a cool, calm, you know, collected guy. Like I just like to have fun. I just like to chill out. Yeah, and I and feel like that's like your music kind of reflects that because like a lot of your music you, is you. like cool. I've been working really hard to get to that point. Yeah. Falls just a lot of frustration, bro. Like I just used to fucking cry on beats, man. Like just spill my pain because I was going through a lot of shit. A lot, you know. Lost yeah, I mean, do you, do, you, do you use music in that way as, like, therapy? It's definitely ther- therapeutic. De- definitely. To the point where, you know, um, I'll bottle things up sometime if, well, most of the time, if I don't write about it or if I don't, you know, make music about it. Like, yeah. I'll definitely, yeah. And you, you, you were telling me last time that you went to, like, a, you went to like a, a magnet school or something like that um, for, like, art and, like. Like you went, you told, you were telling me, weren't you telling me that you went to like some, some kind of like, uh, like magnet middle school or something? Um, magnet middle school, horse man. I, I, I think horse man a magnet middle school. I think so. But I'm not sure if that was one of what we was talking about. I know I went to Turner Tech. I went to like three different high schools. I went to Turner Tech. Um, my ninth grade, hey, shout out to Turner Tech, man. I'm sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was that was some fun times, you know. Um, I got kicked out of there though, ninth grade for smoking in the bathroom. Smoking weed? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, some dumbass shit, bro. Like literally right by, like everybody out for lunch, and I'm right in the bathroom by. I remember going. I remember session. in high school and like going to the bathroom and smelling like weed and being like, "What the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who does this?" <laughs> Our dumbasses did it. Uh, we was this dude was a stupid. Ass I would just walk the in the bathroom like, "Oh yeah. my god!" I can't. And, and they'd be smoking cigarettes in there too. Like, oh nah, what the fuck? Nah, just, at uh, that age, nah. Man. What are you? What are you stressing about, bro? <laughs> like, nah, but I get it though. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, life's tough, but. I was on fucking bars, you know, Zans, all that type of shit in high school. So I get yeah. it, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, me too. Me too. Oh, yeah, I see. But Fellow druggie. It is what it is. I mean. <laughs> but um, but yeah, no, that's 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 um that's awesome. Um so um let's see. I got a couple good uh would you rather questions. Oh, um, I got one. Would you rather, um, would you rather have sex with a girl who had, who's had sex with a thousand dudes or a girl that's had sex with one animal? Whoa, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, a thousand niggas or one animal. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's a couple, like, of my, you know what I'm saying? I got a list. Like, I got a hit list. So, you know what I'm saying? Any niggas say they don't, they lying. When, like, when I, you know what I'm saying? When... When I get to that and to that level, and you know all that, all the you know, hey, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say the thousand. They gotta be clean though, you know. They have to be clean. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Cause there's women out here that's definitely admitting to, you know, doing that. Yeah. And I got a feeling that some of my favorite porn stars, and those are some that's on my my list. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, for so, sure, <laughs> for sure. But you know, you know. That, I would definitely go with that, like, bro, like, cause you gotta be in a different mode to like fuck an animal. You gotta be in a different, like, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta be out your body, like, you actually <laughs> gotta be like, yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yeah, for real though. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I'm trying to think of like ones that like my my like like I used to work at a restaurant and like the 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 chef at my restaurant would ask me, like some fucking what restaurant? Just some some restaurant in L.A. When I used to work, when I used to live in LA, how was LA for you? It was. It could have been better. It could have been better. I hear people lose themselves in LA. I lost myself completely. You know what's funny? That's it's funny that you bring that up. <laughs> it's funny that you bring that up because you said something to me when when I was in, in LA that like really like stuck with me and it almost like kind of made me want to move back. Like you were like you were like yo, what's what's wrong? Like it's like you almost like like you lost your light and that shit like that shit sat with me and I still think about that shit all the time because yeah. I feel like I did like yeah. I don't know LA took something from me and I, I don't know how and I don't know why but it, it did something to me you. yeah yeah um, LA we need that back we gonna run that soon bro <laughs> well, no you, you you like you like again man you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. but when, when we went over there I, I noticed it like you know what I'm saying yeah I'm no like, LA yo. was kind of like a like a really dark point in my life but I'm just I don't know I could have I don't know I don't want to want to talk about it really. Um, Shit, that sounds traumatic. Bro. I could have done a lot better in, in LA, but um, but anyways, is is you know what I'm saying? I'll, every time I go to LA, it's like a different feeling. 
Like it's like you know, oh, I love it here. And you know, it's I nice. Go one time, I'm like, yo, I'm never coming back. <laughs> like, the, like it's the, it's nice to visit, yeah. but just like living there, I yeah. lived there for three years. It was just it took a lot out of me. It took a lot out of me, and and, and I don't know. I think I grew a lot, but I think that I didn't take full advantage of like my opportunity out there, and I don't know. I could have just done more. I could have just done way more. Mm. I feel like I didn't try that hard. But that's another story for another day. I mean, you're somewhat new, new turf, trying to, you know. It was cool that I did it. I'm so happy that I did that. But so you just, got the experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I grew a lot. I grew a lot from it. I don't regret it at all. I just wish I would have done things differently, you know? I mean, it happened, you know. Yeah. Now we're here. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, shit, I mean, you got anything else you want to say? Yeah, a few things, man. We could we could keep going on some just you know, on some realistic things like you know, act, like some deep shit, like some fun shit, like whatever, bro. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how about the, what's the what's the first song? Like, if somebody's never heard your music, what's the first song they should listen to? The first song they should listen to. But I mean, it depends on their style, you know, because I'm li- literally like I can't exaggerate it. Like, I'm I make every genre. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you know, that's another thing that. Even like just to not to get off topic, but when people expect like one sound from me all the time, it's like yo. Yeah, but do you? Not, I mean, do you think? Do you think that's like almost to your disadvantage because like people don't know what to like what to listen to? Like when they hear your music, they don't know what they're gonna get. No, because you have to love me before you love my music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, don't listen to my music if you don't fuck with me. Like, you know, because yeah. you're gonna you're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. you have to know who I am. You have to really really see who. Okay, who is SK? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay, I understand. Now you you getting who I truly am. You understanding it. And you listen to the music and not and only, I mean, I guess who is SK? Um, just a child of God, bro. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. For every part actually. But um just um, you know, having this experience here. Um, somebody a man is trying to make it and be successful to take care of his family, his friends and everyone that he cares about. To create, you know, waves of just blessings for everybody to reap, you know what I'm saying? Um, to just do good for everybody around, you know. Love SK is somebody who has messed up enough, who has been through enough, that has learned from these experiences and wants to apply and teach the next generation and the generation that is currently growing, you know what I'm saying? And continue to build and build a strong foundation so people can see, you know what I'm saying, a lot and uh, realize self realization. Um, accountability and you know just to know that life is really really simple when you realize that we should all just love each other you know what i'm saying so just to make a big impact in the game just to be somebody who my music it speaks for itself you know what i'm saying my shows my everything that i do you know i'm an artist at heart like i'm an artist true artist like, and, and who or what inspires your art um god God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I got. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take it a completely different direction okay, now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather? Uh, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Duck-sized horses. Yeah. I'm taking the horse-sized duck. I don't know that the duck might be strong as fuck though. Yeah, that is a or big duck. Duck-sized horses. Yeah. Um. You know, like, either way, they both could get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping about none of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Them boys could get it either way. <laughs> both of them, you know? <laughs> so you didn't pick one? You got to pick one. I, I got to pick one? All yeah. right, let's see. Um, <sighs> I need some, you know, some more training. So I say, you know, I need to get it. I need to get in better shape. You know, I done put some pounds on. So I take the honey. I take the honey, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I agree with you there because a, a horse sized duck kind of sounds really scary and just kind of yeah, vicious, and they can like, fly. Yeah, yeah, that shit gonna be hard to deal with. Yeah. It's gonna be a little dangerous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least on duck sized horses, you could just kick. Yeah, just send them. Type shit. Yeah, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for but sure. Yeah, man. Let's talk about some girls. All right, <laughs> let's go. Let's talk about it. Who's who? Who are like your favorite? Favorite girls in the game, I guess. Favorite girls in the game. Yeah. Where do I start? 
Uh, let's see. Flo Millie. Flo Millie, first, second, and third. You know what I'm saying? I love you, Flo. Like, you listening right now. This is a ballad of my love to you. You know, I'm dedicating this entire thing to you. And, um, you know, I just want to be that special man in your life to be there for you and take care of your needs to nurture you and grow with you, you know, and honor you, you know? And I mean every word. So, um, yeah, moving on. Okay, Ice Spice. I'm not gonna lie, Ice Spice is her, you know what I'm saying? You know, I need, I need that. I'm not gonna lie, I need that. Um, I don't know if you know Light Skin Keisha? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Like skin Keisha, bro. Like, let's see. Um, it's hot in here. It is hot in here. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Light skin Keisha. Dang. Um. I don't want to name nobody girl. You know what I'm saying? And niggas be coming out to me trying to diss me and that. But you know, it's a few. It's a few. Uh. Uh. It's a few, it's a, it's a few. I got a, I got a little list. Fame, I don't know if you know Fame. She a IG model. My love her though. She fine as fuck. Like she fine as fuck. I think that was, I think that was, that was four. But I'll, t- I'll take it because, because you said Flo Millie three times, so it's technically <laughs> like, it's technically like seven. Okay, cool. But um. How about what's your what's your what's your like type? What kind of girls do you like? Um, when it when it comes to type, I like um girls who can be themselves in, in any in any environment, you know what I'm saying? Girls who can stand up ten toes anywhere they at, you know, just you know, they could well, I don't expect them to always be leaders because, you know, I'm a leader, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just girls who who themselves, who can be true to who they are, who who know how to have fun, who have good hearts, you know, you know what I'm saying, all that, I don't really go for, like, of course, I'm a man, and, you know what I'm saying, out, the looks, the eye candy, it catches me, but only for a little bit, you know, what truly catches me is, um, when I talk to them, and it's like, wow, you know what I'm saying, you have a beautiful mind, and then that's what gets me intrigued to truly get to know a girl, and that's, what, like, you know what I'm saying, so I would say, excuse me, like, the soul and the personality, that's one thing. Yeah. All right. Um, I think we we I think we're good. We can call it. Okay. So this is the Mars Files. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Mars, man. He's doing something great for this generation. For everything, South Florida. Shout out to you, man. And thank you for having me. It's Love SK. All right. Peace. Peace.